Five o'clock, we begin with UConn and their road to victory. Tonight, the women facing the University of Southern California for their chance to get in the Final Four. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Erin Connolly. And I'm Irene O'Connor. Let's get right out to sports director Joe Zone, who's live tonight in Portland, Oregon. And Joe, we'll certainly be seeing some great players out there tonight. We're going to see them here. We're going to see them in Albany. It's mid-afternoon here in Portland, and right now I'm on the terrace outside the Moda Center where the game is going to be tonight. And this is really going to be a great night for women's college basketball. We're going to see the present-day stars. We're going to see future stars, all of them, on the court tonight. I didn't realize I was causing a stir. Gina Oriemo believes Paige Beckers, not Iowa's Caitlin Clark, is the best player in the country. When he said so to some reporters, people got upset. I bet you if you asked USC, they wouldn't tell you Caitlin Clark's the best player. Bet you if you asked LSU, they wouldn't tell you. Bet you if you asked Texas, they wouldn't tell you. I think every coach thinks the player that's on their team that's helping them the most is the best player. Yeah, it's very humbling. Um, you sort of wouldn't expect them to say it because of what happens in practice and what happens in the game and how much he yells at you during that. Um, but just very humbling, very grateful. Um, obviously, he's a great basketball mind and has a lot of love for the game, For you, so you respect everything that he says. Beckers has never been a player who makes a lot of noise about herself, even her freshman season when she won multiple awards as player of the year. So Gino makes the noise for her. Listen, I've coached the best player in the country a lot more than anybody else coaching in this tournament. It's okay for somebody else to say their player is. And we know that a lot of the country would like to see that Caitlin Clark, Paige Beckers showdown in the final four. But for that to happen, both teams will have to win tonight. We'll be back live at six with more from the Elite Eight here in Portland. Joe's own Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right. So